The space race in reality consists of SpaceX and everyone else. Only the company founded by Elon Musk two decades ago has successfully launched an orbital class rocket into space and landed it safely back on Earth. Only SpaceX has landed a rocket the size of a 15-story building on an autonomous drone ship in the middle of the ocean. Only SpaceX has carried both NASA astronauts and private citizens to the International Space Station. Only SpaceX is manufacturing thousands of its own small, table-sized communication satellites each year. Only SpaceX maintains a near-weekly launch cadence, enabling it to single-handedly double the number of active satellites in orbit within less than two years. And only SpaceX is launching prototypes of the largest and most powerful rocket ever built, a behemoth called Starship, destined to turn humanity into a multi-planetary species. SpaceX's total dominance of the rocket industry is an undeniable fact. Yet the company isn't free from competition, as rivals work around the clock, driven by the hope of eventually surpassing SpaceX. And if there's any rocket company expected to one day reach the same level of technological achievement as SpaceX, it would be Blue Origin, the company founded by former Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos in 2000, just two years before SpaceX set up shop in California. But in fact, Blue Origin seems to be trailing SpaceX by a full five years. In 2015, Blue Origin became the first company to launch a rocket above the Karman line and successfully landed again. At the time, this was a proud achievement for the company. But in the bigger picture, when compared to SpaceX, which had already launched its Falcon 9 rocket into orbit and landed it successfully using powered descent, Blue Origin was clearly at a disadvantage. And it seems that to this day, Blue Origin hasn't advanced much further, mostly sticking to suborbital space tourism flights. Even though their New Glenn rocket was successfully launched earlier this year, it still hasn't demonstrated stability in its missions, and the company remains primarily focused on crewed suborbital flights with New Shepard. When talking about New Shepard, it's impossible not to bring up SpaceX's Dragon, as these two spacecraft represent the efforts of two fierce rivals. No disrespect to New Shepard, while it managed to carry crews into suborbital space as early as 2021, it's disappointing that Blue Origin hasn't worked to push human spaceflight any farther, unlike SpaceX. There's a sense of missed potential in how New Shepard seems content to stay in its lane. Even the people flying on New Shepard aren't officially called astronauts or crew members. They're simply referred to as space tourists. Meanwhile, SpaceX's Dragon has accomplished nearly every major milestone in modern crewed spaceflight, with 14 crewed missions carrying a total of 58 astronauts into orbit. And that's not even mentioning Polaris Dawn. The mission had to break altitude records and conduct a spacewalk in orbit. Or the recently completed Crew Dragon mission, which for the first time sent astronauts on a flight passing over both the north and south poles of Earth. For comparison, Crew Dragon can carry up to seven astronauts with life support for extended orbital missions while Cargo Dragon transports over 7,000 pounds of supplies and safely returns cargo to Earth. In contrast, Blue Origin's New Shepard is a suborbital rocket, reaching altitudes over 100 kilometers during an 11-minute flight, providing just a few minutes of weightlessness for six space tourists or small research payloads. The ability of Dragon to support long-duration orbital missions makes it vastly superior to New Shepard's brief suborbital hops. Crew Dragon supports up to seven passengers with advanced life support and safety systems, including an in-flight abort capability, while Cargo Dragon carries large, varied payloads in both pressurized and unpressurized compartments. New Shepard's capsule accommodates six tourists in a sightseeing cabin, or about 400 kilograms of research cargo, but it's built for short trips with minimal life support. Dragon uses Draco and Super Draco thrusters for precise orbital maneuvers and emergency aborts, launched atop the powerful Falcon 9 rocket to reach orbit. New Shepard, on the other hand, is powered by a single BE-3 PM engine burning liquid hydrogen and oxygen, providing thrust for suborbital climbs with deep throttling capability for precise booster landings. The combination of Dragon's propulsion systems and Falcon 9's power enables complex orbital missions far beyond the simple vertical suborbital trajectory of New Shepard. Even by these few clear points, it's obvious SpaceX's Dragon easily outclasses New Shepard. Of course, some would argue that, since the vehicles were designed for different purposes, 
direct comparisons aren't entirely fair. And while that's not wrong, here's the thing. While Dragon has rarely encountered serious issues, New Shepard experienced a serious incident in 2022 where its emergency abort system had to activate mid-flight, safely separating the capsule and deploying parachutes. Luckily, this was an uncrewed mission. But imagine if such a failure happened on a crewed flight intended for tourists. It would have been extremely dangerous, and had it harmed any passengers, it would have been a disaster. That incident led to a one-year suspension of New Shepard flights, while Blue Origin investigated the issue and worked on solutions. Since then, the company has resumed normal operations with five successful crewed suborbital flights. However, despite these missions, lingering doubts still follow each New Shepard launch as people recall the previous failure. From this, we can see that Dragon's dominance over New Shepard is inevitable. Not just because Dragon conducts more orbital flights, but because of the difference in development drive between SpaceX and Blue Origin. The Dragon spacecraft is constantly being upgraded and improved, with missions growing increasingly complex and challenging over time. SpaceX is on a path of continuous progress, always pushing towards something new and refusing to see any achievement as a final limit. Meanwhile, New Shepard has remained virtually unchanged since its inception. It continues to do the same thing it's always done, with no real innovation or significant evolution. This makes it feel like a waste of potential and creativity, like a repetitive, uninspired office job. That's honestly what it feels like. I truly hope Blue Origin will change this. Even with their first major milestone achieved by New Glenn, they're capable of doing so much more than simply being content with what's happening now. If everyone only sticks to what's familiar, then who will be the one to create something new, right? That's exactly what we should expect from a space company. And right now, the one leading the charge in creativity, boldness, and fearless ambition is undeniably SpaceX. At this point, it's easy to see why Blue Origin still hasn't managed to surpass SpaceX, isn't it? But that's just one small aspect. The slow progress at Blue Origin is also shaped by the different leadership dynamics of two brilliant figures, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. Their contrasting approaches, ambitions, and circumstances have steered their companies down two very different paths. In the early days of SpaceX, around 2007 to 2008, the company teetered on the edge of collapse. The Falcon 1 rocket, SpaceX's first attempt to break into the aerospace industry, suffered three consecutive launch failures. Each explosion wasn't just a technical setback, it was a financial gut punch. Musk has recounted how the company was hemorrhaging money with no guarantee of success. By the time the fourth launch loomed, SpaceX was down to its last reserves, both financially and emotionally. Musk himself described it as the ultimate do or die moment. The fourth launch worked, or that would have been it for SpaceX. What's striking about this period is Musk's role in it. He didn't choose to be SpaceX's chief engineer out of ego or preference. He took it on because he couldn't convince top-tier talent to join a fledgling company with no track record, a shoestring budget, and a mission that sounded like science fiction. Building reusable rockets to make humanity multi-planetary. So, by necessity, Musk rolled up his sleeves, diving into the nitty-gritty of rocket design and engineering. He's admitted to his own mistakes contributing to those early failures, but that only fueled his determination to get it right. The success of that fourth Falcon 1 launch in September 2008 wasn't just a technical victory. It was a testament to Musk's refusal to give up, even when the odds were stacked against him. This crucible of near failure shaped SpaceX's culture into one of relentless urgency and innovation. Musk's leadership style, intense, hands-on, and often grueling, set the tone. Employees at SpaceX have described working long hours, driven by a shared sense of purpose, but also by Musk's own example. He wasn't just a CEO signing checks. He was in the trenches, sacrificing sleep and personal well-being to solve problems. That fourth launch became a turning point, proving to skeptics that SpaceX could deliver. It also cemented Musk's belief that every opportunity must be seized as if it's the last a mindset that still drives the company's ambitious projects, from Starship to Mars colonization. Now, contrast this with Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin. It's not that Blue Origin lacks vision. Its motto, Gratitim Ferociter, step-by-step, ferociously, suggests a deliberate but determined path toward reusable rockets and space tourism. 
but the stakes feel different. Bezos, one of the world's wealthiest individuals, has a financial safety net that Musk never had in SpaceX's early days. If Blue Origin hits a snag, Bezos can, as you pointed out, sell a fraction of his Amazon stock and inject billions into the program without breaking a sweat. This isn't to say Bezos doesn't care about Blue Origin's success. He's poured significant resources into it over the years. But the absence of existential financial pressure creates a different dynamic. There's no fourth launch moment hanging over Blue Origin like a guillotine. Bezos' approach also reflects his personal style. While Musk is known for sleeping on factory floors during crunch times, Bezos has cultivated a more balanced public image, often seen enjoying time with his partner, Lauren Sanchez, or sailing on his yacht. This doesn't mean Bezos is disengaged. Blue Origin has made steady progress, with its new Shepard rocket achieving multiple successful suborbital flights and plans for the more ambitious new Glenn rocket underway. But the urgency that defines SpaceX's culture seems less pronounced at Blue Origin, where the pace feels more methodical, perhaps even cautious by comparison. It's tempting to frame this as a tale of grit versus complacency, but that oversimplifies things. Musk's all-in approach comes with trade-offs, burnout, high employee turnover, and criticism of his management style have all been part of SpaceX's story. Meanwhile, Bezos's slower burn at Blue Origin might sacrifice speed for sustainability, aiming to build a foundation that doesn't rely on a single make-or-break moment. Musk's proximity to bankruptcy in those early days left him no choice but to gamble everything. Bezos, with his vast resources, has the luxury of playing a longer game. Yet, the results speak for themselves. SpaceX has revolutionized the aerospace industry, slashing launch costs with reusable Falcon 9 rockets, securing NASA contracts, and launching Starlink satellites at a breakneck pace. Blue Origin, while successful in its niche, hasn't yet matched that scale or impact. The difference isn't just money, it's the intensity of focus. Musk's drive to prove doubters wrong, born from those early failures, continues to propel SpaceX forward, even as the company shoulders national responsibilities like crewed missions to the International Space Station. Blue Origin, for all its potential, hasn't faced the same crucible, and perhaps doesn't need to. In the end, both men are chasing big dreams. Musk with his eyes on Mars, Bezos with his vision of millions living in space. But their paths reflect their realities. Musk's is a high-wire act, fueled by desperation and defiance. Bezos's is a steady climb, backed by unmatched resources. Neither is inherently better, but Musk's story, forged in those make-or-break moments, burns with a raw intensity that's hard to ignore. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.